of Goebbels. This is Goebbels. You are all Goebbels. Imagine if Trump had rallies where he simulated the death of Obama. Well, her actions, along with uh, Jack Posobiec covering it, was the number one story last weekend. And then in the next few days, uh, more people stormed the stage to say, stop promoting murder. Here's some of that video. Freedom. Stop the normalization of political violence against the right. This is unacceptable. You cannot. Get off the stage. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause. We're going to pause security. This is violence. Security, please. Else's events. And I thought it was so anti free speech when she did it. You are all Goebbels. You are all Nazis like Joseph Goebbels. This is Goebbels. You are all Goebbels. Imagine if Trump had rallies where he simulated the death of Obama. I mean, the left got a rodeo clown who was Hispanic looking like Obama as a clown band. But then they. They want to be able to simulate killing the president. Which is their free speech, but people are going to protest it. Goebbels would be proud. Then they play games and say, oh, we're not really talking about the president. Laura, just in the last few minutes, we've got to commend what you're doing. Uh, obviously, more of this is going to happen because we're not left-wing or right-wing, in my view. We're just responding to their bullying. So I commend you for fighting these bullies. Thank you so much. And you're a source of inspiration to me. I definitely have been an info warrior for a long time now. Um, people like Mike Cernovich, uh, people like the Rebel Media, James O'Keefe over at Project Veritas, where I used to work. Um, all of you are leading the fight against the left. And, um, you know, the mainstream media sure as hell isn't doing it. So, um, you know, I would encourage people to follow you and follow those others who are, um, you know, leading this fight against this um, toxic ideology uh, this culture war that that is attacking the right, you know, that's calling for a conservative genocide. Why do you think they're so violent now? I really honestly attribute it to Islam, right? A lot of people don't make the connection, but the left, um, you know, throughout Obama's president's presidency, especially, they decided to align themselves with Islam. And these are Islamic tactics. This is jihad, right? This is um, this is the left form of jihad. They're using ISIS tactics of beheading, stabbing people. Running um, over people with cars. In fact, a lot of leftists, as you know, celebrate the jihadist attacks that are taking place. Yeah, of course, because uh, why Why wouldn't they? Because, um, I mean, they, they don't stand for the West. They don't stand for the Constitution, right? Jihad is opposed to the West, and it wants to destroy Western civilization and everything that's good about democracy and the United States Constitution. And Sharia law is totally incompatible with the United States Constitution. And, um, you know, we already have, you know, 51% of the Muslims living in this country already want to replace the Constitution with Sharia law. And so if we keep on importing these people, um, they're going to start to influence the- Exactly, I'm, I'm all for bringing Muslims in if, if they want to adapt and don't want to put hoods over their wives' heads and cut their genitals off and stuff like that. I mean, you know, Christians in some areas a thousand years ago did similar you know, things, not exactly that bad, but similar. They've got to reform, but instead they say we are reforming. ISIS is our reform. Yeah, I mean, this- it, there is no reform, right? What people need to understand is there is no, there has not been a reform movement with Islam. There has not been a moderate movement with Islam, right? There, there is only one Quran, and um, you know, it's their, it's their ideology. It's their, it's their. Um, it's Why has Christianity and Judaism and and so many other religions gotten more moderate over the last few thousand years, and Islam gets worse and worse? Yeah, I. I mean, a lot of people, I, I personally view Islam as more of a death cult. Um, you know, I, I try and stay away from um, referring No, no, I agree. It's not a religion. It's a political death cult. Yeah. I, I don't call it a religion. So um, that's your answer right there. It's it's not it's not a religion. So um, it's, it's it's not like Christianity or Judaism because it's it's a death cult. Well, it certainly is being exercised as one today. Laura Loomer, thank you so much for joining us. Where's the best place again for folks to follow you? Um, just at Laura Loomer and uh, the Rebel Media.